I want the power dynamic to change from the few to change to the many. All right, Brad. Oh my God, let me tell you. For too long have I been sitting back watching as the North suffers. The people, no businesses. The entire area, a barren wasteland. Those pussies the BCSO coddled over the public. I will make sure that the people matter again in Blaine County. I know what some of you think about me. Well, Kyle Pred isn't nice. Eve Summers is just so sweet and nice. Who the fuck wants a nice politician to fight for them? What has a nice person ever accomplished? Terrific. The scrapyard? Oh, you know what's real nice about the scrapyard that was open? It's real great that people are able to get the businesses that they have sitting, uh, the business proposals sitting on the, the Blaine County Administration's desks that aren't being approved so that they can make their stuff, but Jesus fucking Christ, where the hell are they gonna sell it? Where are they gonna sell it? And who runs the scrapyard? Eve Summers runs the scrapyard. It's funny. It's funny how the few friends succeed it's funny how the few friends get what they want, but when it comes to the public up north, they get nothing. We can no longer sit back and allow for nothing to commence. Legislation, 13 pieces of legislation, nothing submitted for over two months. The previous mayor stepped down. Who's to say if Eve gets in office, she won't do the same? We already know that she won't fight for you because she's not here today fighting for herself. How can you trust somebody to represent you that won't even fight for themselves? If Eve doesn't care about you when she needs you, when she needs your support, why would she care about you when she has it? I brought the pressure that made her crack. How will she stand up for you when she can't stand up for herself or her platform on today's stage. Eve Summers didn't show up to the debate. She ain't gonna show up for you. What makes you think this is a fair and free election when Angel's good friend Eve Summers is skipping a debate like this? I ask you, how is this not rigged in favor of Eve Summers? Blatant right in front of the people's eyes. For the first time ever, you as a voter have less of a say. You as a voter should have all the say up north and down south. You are a resident of San Andreas. You have a voice. It matters. There is nothing codified. The Andy Jones administration hasn't put out a legislation for it. It will actually be tomorrow that it'll be two plus months. Justice Angel is preventing progression to preserve her own power. Who benefits from a failing and faulting DOJ? The people who currently sit on the top of it. Are you really okay with the process being so long for you to submit legislation, to re-evaluate legislation? Does the DOJ pay for that when they're doing it in the dead of night? Who agreed to have the election process changed? Were you the voter sought out and asked your opinion? You should be in an uproar. You should be feeling misled and lied to. Because you know what happened? Everybody, I'm going to tell you this. Would this have happened if I didn't run for mayor? Think about it. Out of all honesty, I don't believe in coincidence. I believe in conspiracy. This is a conspiracy to steal the election because everybody knows that I am a threat to the current power structure that benefits the few, but disparages and pushes away the many. Think about that to yourself today when you're driving home from this debate. Think about if you're really okay with the current system. Think about how if Eve Summers does get into office instead of Kyle Pred, how the North is actually gonna rise. Eve Summers' entire platform is preserving the Northern, uh, the Northern administration legacy of Andy Jones. What type of, uh, honestly, 
How does that benefit the people? Because it hasn't benefited them yet. I'm sure if you give it three more months, it'll change because they haven't done anything in the last two. You really need to understand that I am not the perfect man, but I am capable of finding the perfect people to get in the positions to get the job done. When I became the sheriff, everybody laughed at me. Everybody doubted me. Everybody said Kyle Pred can't succeed. And what did I accomplish? The shining jewel that was Blaine County. It was put on the map for the first time ever. The largest police department ever. I won the second sheriff election by over a 98 percentile between the public and the government workers because people had that much faith and they had that much conviction for what was achieved because they never saw anything like that before. You really need to wake up. You really need to understand that it's not okay for you to have less voting power. That a smoke screen is being blown in front of your eyes. How can anyone sit here and say that this isn't a deliberate attempt to rig the election? My ex-wife, who is Brittany Angel, oversees the election. My ex-wife, who is Brittany Angel, fired me from a department unjustly. My ex-wife, who changed the legislation in the dead of night with no input from anyone else to strip you of your rights. If that isn't a vindictive, if that isn't a planned, plotted attack, then what is? They are afraid because I want them to be held accountable for their failures. I want the power dynamic to change from the few to change to the many. I want you to thrive in Blaine County. And if you're not up in Blaine County, I want you to come up to it. What we have to understand is that if you get three more months of what the previous administration has, how is it going to be any better than what it was? I mean, I've talked to a lot of you in this crowd. A lot of you have said Eve Summers hasn't even campaigned or approached me yet. I mean, hell, I have it on good authority that the BCSO are the ones that are handling her campaigning for her because they benefit the most from that leadership, from that administration. What exactly are the ideas and the goals of my opponent? What exactly is being promised and going to be done? I mean, her deputy mayor isn't even a resident of Blaine County. Her deputy mayor is Larry Knox, who is going to be taking any orders that come down from Lang Buddha. Ask yourself, do you really see a world where Larry Knox tells Lang Buddha no on anything up north? Ask yourself this, Eve, Sum Eve Summers had a close relationship with that gang. What's going to happen? Who's really going to be in charge if Kyle Pred doesn't get elected to mayor of Lane County? People, I need your support, and I will fight tooth and nail not just to earn your vote, but to keep your trust in me. And that is what you get when you cast a ballot for Kyle Pred for Blaine County. I will never stop fighting for you. I will be the most relentless beast you've ever seen. Because I don't respond well to these people telling me that things can't be done. Because when I look around at the city, I see a city that needs help more than ever. That hospital, under, not staffed at all up in Blaine County. How do you even get medical? The businesses not thriving? Taxation at an all-time high for the small people who do stay up there. But hey, as long as the BCSOs paid their 80 votes. I'm not trying to get anyone's support that is BCSO. Because I can point out to you, how many meetings did Andy Jones go to that was the BCSO? How many meetings did she go to that were for you? I genuinely believe, I genuinely believe we could win, brother. I think so too, actually. Thank you for your comment, Nino. I'm good in these type of settings.